and we're here for round two with what looks like to be a doozy of a hand. Oh man, this deck has so many dragons in it. Um, I guess we keep maybe Mulligan. Average casting cost hand is five point three. I don't know. I'm too much maths. Uh, dig through time changes that a little bit. Uh, we're on the draw, and this hand's bad. We're just gonna toss it. All right. Well, this hand's also bad. Toss it. Three lands. Uncastables. Alright, cool. Well, hopefully we draw two blue sources, I guess. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go turn one Founder Shoot Denizen. Alright, well, this is awkward. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get punished. Maybe we should have kept our opening seven. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'm fine with that, because I ain't casting any of these spells anytime soon. I'm just going to assume I'm going to go on a limb here and say he's going to take Dig Through Time. Yeah. That's a shocker. Alright, well, let's charge up this Crucible. Charge it. And in about four turns, we are going to cast uh, huh, Dragon Lord Tarka? That seems like a good one. Here comes Anafenza, the death of dragons, some other fancy name. The foremost, the foremost death of dragons, that's what, that's what's going to be. It's kind of interesting, I drew an Anticipate, but if I draw an island, ooh, Corsair? Okay, well we can probably beat Corsairs in the long run, even on a mold of five. Our deck has some powerful stuff going on. Alright, well, maybe we'll just never draw a land and never cast a spell. That's also fine. Uh, these Perilous Vaults could be sweet. Um, I'm really, really hoping I draw an island next turn, uh, or a blue source that comes to play untapped. I would love to anticipate and put a charge counter on Crucible. Aw, you got to shuffle it away. Here comes a, a beige rhino. Dr. Siegeman is in. What much we can do about that? Oh, Soren. Even better. Now if I draw a land, I can play as Perilous Vault. Man, come on. Give me a chance. Moto stinks. It's all Moto's fault. Well, on the brighter note, if we draw an untapped land and he taps out, we can Salumgar steal Soren and tick down. Assuming that he ticks. Yeah. Alright. We're going to get him real good if we draw a land. Come on, baby. Come on. One time. Daddy needs a brand new couch or something. Oh, man. This is infuriating. That would have been so sweet. Just have him under his own edict locked for the rest of the game. No. He's probably going to do it to me. But... Yep. Can't ever beat it. That's not true. We have a lot of charge counters on this. Thinking about stealing his coursers and uh, sacking those. Maybe hit a land drop somewhere in the meanwhile. Probably not, though. Wish he had left that Soren for one more turn. Just take up one more time, buddy. Or let us draw a land. Either one would have been great. We are so dead. Everything looked like it was gonna be uh, be great for us for a minute there. Oh man, this is... I don't even know what to do. This is embarrassing. Alright. Blue, black, blue, black. I bet we hit a land now when it's far too late. We're going to steal a Corsair and then sacrifice it. And then attack Nissa for not enough to kill it. There we go. Finally. Alright, put this stupid dude on bottom. Alright, so next turn we can... So if he just plays Nissa, can't really attack. Um, I get to go Vault 
but Vald does not kill uh, the lands turned to creature by Nissa. Okay, well. We're going to take two down to nine, and then next turn we take four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right. So we're actually just dead. I'm going to concede. No way out. We came close. If we had been able to ultimate that, that uh, Soren with the emblem and kept our guy in play, we would have been in good shape. But mold five and cast one spell? <laughs> that was pretty awkward. All right, so how do we want to board here? Uh, hex roof guys are great. He has all this removal that doesn't do anything. He's got a di bunch of discards, so Dragon Lord's prerogative is good. A lot of expensive stuff. In case nice might be okay. Negate might be okay. Voyage Zen still don't know what that's doing in the deck. Gonna get that out of here. Uh, being able to lock down his uh, siege rhinos and things with in case nice. I don't know if that's actually worth it, but uh, I'm I'm gonna keep trying it just in case. <clears throat> the Dragon Lord Slumgar might be good. Maybe keep him in. The uh, the Dromokas don't seem great. Well, we're gonna trim those. I I do kind of want to try to get another uh, Slumgar Drifting or not the Drifting Death, but the other one try to figure out one more cut maybe just cut the negate hey yolo get another dragon lord up in this piece perilous vault seems good he had a lot of planeswalkers alright let's see if we can have a playable opener deal I can cast spells and everything <laughs> well hopefully this game goes a little bit better than the last one I think we're okay on lands for now. We will want more eventually, but <coughs> I want some more ways to interact with him. Especially if he hits me with like an early thought seize. I want to uh, <coughs> be able to fight back eventually. Crucible. Well, unfortunately can't play that yet. Need to hold up Scorn in case he thought seizes us, I guess. We do want to try to counter that to uh, make sure that we can uh, cast Dig Through Time. And since he's tapped out, we're not going to reveal that we have Ojatai. I think we're going to play this Charge Land over the Temple, though. If he doesn't play anything, we're going to charge it. Stafel Stroke was not a bad one to draw. All right. He's probably just going to play Abzan Charm or something. Yep. Called it. It was not a hard call to make. I'm not going to... Not going to take too much credit for that one. That was easy. Easy mode. Case and Ice for your Rhino so I don't have to counter it. Deal. Deal. Although I may just go counterspell into Dragon Lord Ojutai. That seems reasonable. And then he basically has to hold up three mana for the rest of the game. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't have a land to play. I doubt it, but we want to get eh. Now nah, we're gonna bottom that. Whatever. Should have bottomed it to begin with, I think, but if he went land rhino. Uh, I did want to just have a a quick answer to it, and that didn't force me to use my uh, counter spell. But now that he's tapped out and nothing in play, seems like a perfect time to Ojutai. Now, if he casts Rhino, we get to attack, get a free card. If he casts nothing, then we probably don't attack. If he casts Nissa and makes a 4-4. Four, four. Probably kill Nissa, unfortunately. But it is what it is. No, in hostilities. That is a blowout. Well, at least we can cast Dig Through Time. So we got that going for us. Slumgar Scorn? Yeah, sure. 
Well, we may not cast Dig Through Time now, especially if you play something we want a Disdainful Stroke. Uh, we'll probably just go uh, Stroke Charge, Untap with Scorn, and then Scorn Dig. Or maybe he'll play something sweet we can steal. Like Sorn. Fine. I hate letting that guy sit around. And this deck doesn't have any real answers to it, so. Absent Charm kills everything in my deck. Alright. Well, we in a little trouble. I think we actually need to cast Dig Through Time now. Don't really think I can afford to draw that Slumgar Scorn again. I keep scrying and my plans keep having to change because my opponent keeps playing stuff. Shame on him for playing so much stuff. <coughs> Alright. Kind of want to land. I think I'll get one off this prerogative, so. I'll take prerogative and scorn. And then if he doesn't cast anything I care about, I may just main phase the Slumgar scorn anyway. If we cast Ojita, or sorry, if we cast Slumgar steals Fleece Main Line, he can't monstrous it next turn. But we don't really have a good way to get out of play anyway, other than uh, what's his face? I am completely blanking. Ugin the Spirit Dragon, that's the one. So we're gonna draw four, and we're doing this before we play our land. Ooh, Perilous Fault. I forgot we had that one. That one's sweet. Still a little ways off from cast and activate in the same turn. Wouldn't mind another land here off of this Temple of Mystery. Since we missed on our draw four. Paris Vault's great. Ugin's great. But we don't have a land. Well, I think I gotta keep it just for uh later game purposes. I think next turn I'll just cast Perilous Vault. Hope he doesn't randomly have a disenchant in his deck. Hold up a counter spell for a potentially big threat on the next turn. I assume he's just gonna well I'll take it back. I thought he was just gonna play fleece or activate fleece main and hit me for six. I guess he is uh well, let's see what he took. Alright, so he kept an Elspeth, okay. Alright, well, we're gonna get smashed a little bit. And play this perilous vault and play the charge it game. We're gonna take a little more damage though. A lot more than I wanna take, but I don't think there's a lot to be done about it. Tilt. Double tilt. Well, good news is we can blow up the vault and counter uh, his next expensive play, but he will be able to get a small play underneath us. I assume he's just not going to cast anything. Makes sense. Land. Alright. That was actually maybe the perfect land. Or, a scry land was likely perfect. Um, I'll put that one on the bottom. Right. So we basically can't let Nyssa resolve. since we don't have a great answer to it. He has Abzan Charm in hand still. Don't know what else really. He has a Elspeth. I think he had a Sansep Citadel. I guess we blow this now. Yeah, he's got Duress on top. I mean, we have a million counter spells or whatever, but... Possibly we should just take six, but I don't want my life to get too low so that I just get eaten by rhinos. Uh, we can counter 
this next like five big plays or whatever. So I think we're we're all right. We can even play Ojitai off of the charge land next turn. Huh, so what can he cast for four mana? Is there anything that I really care about? Because I don't really want to get duress this turn. I guess getting duress this turn is okay. That's kind of weird. I don't know why he would do it there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's just saving the duress for next turn, but little does he know. I have so many counter spells. So many. So, so many. Huh. Yeah, we don't really want to lose our Ugin if we don't have to. I don't remember if he's seen Salumgar this game or not, so... I'll just show him the one I'm more likely to play next turn. Alright, yeah, so we can play Ojutai and just hold up Dissolve, so we'll just do that. White, blue. Ojutai. Now, you could potentially cast another discard spell into uh, a big thing, but we have a counter spell and Ugin, hopefully, to protect us from that. We also have the potential to steal something with Dragon Lord Salumgar. This prerogative might be okay. I'm not sure if I want it on top or bottom though. This is kind of tough. I think I think I want it on top. It's close though. It's weird. Like at this point in the game, there are only a certain few cards that matter, and when I have this much at my disposal, raw card advantage doesn't matter all that much. It could help me hit land drops, and it lets me play the draw go game if he doesn't want to run all of his best spells into counter spells. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. If I was in his shoes, I would have no idea what to do. Because I have so many cards in hand. And I missed so many land drops. And by so many, I mean just a few. <clears throat> it's been a weird game. I'm honestly not sure what I'm going to do if he just passes the turn. I mean, I know I'm going to charge my Crucible, but other than that, I don't know what I, I'll probably just not attack and say go, and then cast Dragon Lord's prerogative end of turn. But he's probably just going to cast Elspeth. Try to kill my guy, and I'm going to use Stroke since um, we know the top cards, Dragon Lord's prerogative. Alright, well, he only has two mana up. I can't think of a reason why he would still have a two mana removal spell in his deck, and we don't mind if our guy dies as long as we get some value out of it. Oh, Slumgar Scorn, you say. Can't lose, you say. I'll take it. Well, I think I got this game on lock after a pretty scary start. <laughs> the doctor. Sorry, bro, him. Meet your end. Um. Yeah, we'll counter that.
my soul region. Mm. Put on bottom. Don't actually mind drawing a lane at this point, because I can go Ugin Scorn. Untapped land, rather. Alrighty. Charge it. Let's go ahead and hit him down to four, and then Ugin hit him down to one. And then he has to do with deal with two giant spirit dragon things. And it's hard to deal with one, let alone two. Well, let's take another scorn. I guess now I don't even cast anything. Let's say go. I have two things that gain life or kill my guy, and like I don't even care about Nissa. I suppose you could have something, but like a discard spell into two things. But we know he has a Nissa in hand as one of his cards. I don't recall any of the other ones. Playing Dragon Lord Dramoka. Holy moly, I can't counter that guy. That guy. Is this what I've been doing to people? Oh no, I forgot to cast this in response. I'm a doofus. I'm such a dummy. <sighs> Good time as any, I suppose. Alright, this is actually fine because now I get to steal his Dramoka and he can't cast anything. And this doesn't say I can't counter anything on my turn. So if he has a removal spell that he's trying to cast, then uh, I, got, I got some bad news. I'm stealing your Dramoka. I command you to fight for the dragon team and not the team of the giant Abzan jerks. Well, I'm not sure if I actually want to change anything as far as sideboarding goes. The Atarka might be okay. The second one, uh, anyway. Um, the Icefall Regents, they're just not doing it for me. I don't even know why they're in the deck. This is not a tempo deck, and this is a hugely tempo-based card. I'm going to just have this guy. We're going to have a Drifting Death just so we can block his... Uh, like fleece main lines and junk. The Dramokas don't actually seem that good on my side. They were great in that one situation where I stole his and then he could no longer, you know, do anything. And he was also dead. But, uh, I don't think they're great <coughs> for me anyway. I think Dragon Lord Dramoka is the card I want to see the least from my opponents, though. That's for sure. I just can't counter it. It says so right on the card. I don't have removal spells in my deck. I have I have to play an encase and eyes on it, and then none of my counter spells ever do anything again. So that's cool. Mike Flores, you need to step up your Dramoka game. I also think it's funny that I have four or more minutes on my clock than my opponent. Um yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I will say the playing decks like this while doing commentary just oh man it's 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 making me delirious. Right, we're gonna bottom that land. I'm sure we'll regret that and want one later, but for now, bottom. Here comes a duress or a fleece main. Oh nothing? Wow. Man, we're in good shape. Whenever you get to untap with uh, Slumgar Scorn Man, when your opponent hasn't cast anything, it's a good day. Cause it usually means that the next card they cast is going to get countered. <laughs> Course of Crufix, you say? Not on my watch. Okay. Well. Read the bones or something? Aw, oh, man, really? You could have cast that last turn. I guess that means he just drew it. 
Well, we can't do anything, so we'll just let it resolve and be sad. Alright, well I guess we'll hold up dissolve and take a few chunks from this fleece main line. We can draw a perilous vault. We may be dead before we can actually cast an Ugin. Huh. That's something to chew on. May just have to cast this Ujutai at some point. Case and ice. One time. Oof, we have a chance. Alright, unfortunately I have to like main phase this anticipate, but now I can still Slumgar Scorn, so that's okay. Yeah, dude, that's cool. I wasn't gonna counter that anyway. Ah, oh, we hit it. Now the, here's the the tricky part. So we uh we don't want him to cast a spell, so we're gonna hold up Slumgar Scorn. But now we basically have to hold up two mana for the rest of the game. <laughs> but if he doesn't do anything, we, we may get to a point where we can double spell and punish him. Monstrous? Yeah, get in case of nice, baby. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, man, that feels good. Oh, that feels so good. That never happens. That just, that sequence just never happens. All right, well... I guess we could just cast a dragon, but I don't want to get Elspeth, so we're going to play that instead. Perilous Vault. We'll keep that just in case. Get it? Just in case his guy is encased in ice. Yeah, I know you get it. It's fine. Like I said, mildly delirious. <coughs> Read them bones? Yeah, I think that's okay. Like, we kind of want to fill our graveyard up, but we also kind of don't care about half the cards he can draw on his deck. And so, uh, like, he could potentially draw discard spells, but as you can see, our hand is fairly stocked uh, for that kind of a fight. And so I'd much rather just counter his actual threats. Like this. And he's tapped out, so we don't have to show him that we have an Ojutai. We get to play our six land, play Perilous Vault and hold up a Scorn. So now we're not really afraid of too much. And this may actually bait him into casting a Nyssa, since we're doing this, right into our Slumgar Scorn. And then we get to untap Dissolve Dig Through Time. So everything's looking great. Of course that could all shatter to pieces in mere moments. So, we do not count our, our chickens before they hatch. Well, if this is just Elspeth, I think I j am just fine with that. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I actually just have to save Perilous Vault for a Dromoka. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to save that Perilous Vault for a rainy day where we have no real way to interact with our opponent. Alrighty. It's a lot of havens of the spirit dragon. I believe we are going to be casting a dig through time this turn no matter what. Man. I, I will say that I applaud any of you who are watching these videos and uh, end up watching all four of them because this is tough. This is a lot of work just just talking this long. Man, how do you guys do this? Well, I'll try to be as entertaining as possible, I suppose. All right, do nothing. Also fine. Don't think there's any instant speed thing I'm worried about, so I don't really want to bother holding up. Uh, 
dissolve mana. Alright, well, I suppose we will just take dissolve. And just in case you, like, randomly thought... Uh, I'm gonna take Scorn. I'll just use Scorn on the discard spell if that's what 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 it comes down to. Alright, well, he didn't cast anything. I'm so afraid of Dramoka. Like, I don't even want to cast my Ojutai, because then I'm just gonna have to Perilous Vault away the Dramoka. Eh, YOLO. Maybe I'll just uh, let him uh, attack me once. I'll attack him once. And then blow up the vault. It, I don't know. Maybe not. We have to put pressure on him at some point. Wish I'd hit a uh, Dragon Lord Salumgar for insurance. I suppose I could have taken a land over one of the counter spells, but it's a good place to be usually. Got a Dragon Lord Ojutai going and a uh, bunch of counter spells in hand. Well, that was a doozy. Holy moly. That could be real good in a minute. We'll see. I'm kind of okay letting my Ojutai die. Uh, I'm going to counter it once. But if he kills it again, I'm just going to let it die, I think. Alright, well, now we got a lot of pressure on him. We can even use Encase and Ice to race his Dramoka, which is great. Alright, um, yeah, we'll take the black one, just in case. Haven number four? Nah. Ain't nobody got time for that. I wonder, I wonder what his follow-up will be. Yeah, I'm just going to let this resolve since we have the two dissolves. We can just uh, let the Thoughtseize either take one or take our Tarka or whatever. And then uh, still have a counterspell at the ready for the remainder of his turn. Alright, well he took a Encase and Ice. It's kind of weird. I guess he's playing Dramoka. Yeah, makes sense. So what we can do is just attack for five, he blocks, and then we play a Tarka and kill it. Hmm. He may also just main phase. I don't think he would just main phase kill Ojutai. That'd be weird. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten. So we can Dragon Lord and dissolve next turn. Do we even want to do that? Kind of want to do it this turn if I attack and he takes it. And we're just gonna put him bottom. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna battle. We're gonna try to end the game quickly. Uh, Valor stance is a weird potential blowout. If he does something before damage, I can also just Perilous Vault. So it's not even that big of a, a deal. Um, but I think we have to cast a Tarka, but that leaves us one turn of vulnerability, but we still have the Perilous Vault. And he still has to deal... He has to have something that's big and deal with the uh, Atarka. So we're just going to deal all five to this dude. Okay. And so yeah, even if he has something uh, to punish us, we can potentially reset with the Perilous Vault. So he has to have a removal spell and like a Nissa. Now, Elspeth is okay. We can Vault and Dissolve and Haven back 
one of our guys. Or both our guys. I don't know. Probably just one. We don't even have to vault. We can just get back Ojutai and play it next turn. We can also just get back Atarka. When he ticks up, we go one to each of the creatures and then two to the Elspeth. That actually sounds pretty awesome. And we can counter whatever he does. And if he casts something that uh, I can't take care of, yep, I forgot what I was saying. Then again, we still have the perilous vault. So if we draw an untapped land, uh, we get to also be able to play dissolve. So that's nice. Let's do this. Go one, 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 and still have a Tarka. Even if he has a uh, a big follow up, he has to deal with again a Tarka and beat a Perilous Vault. So hopefully that is difficult for him to do. All these dragon lords. This deck is great. I don't care how bad it is against aggro. This deck is awesome. Kudos to Mike Flores for building a really awesome, interesting deck. Just everything about it is great. Love it. Now hopefully he doesn't kill our Atarka and we get to untap. Oh, whoa. What is he convoking? Court of Calling? Stain the mine. Jeez. That is a sweet one. I'm wondering what... I guess he'll... I mean, he knows I have two Dissolves in hand. I think he just has the name Dissolve. Unfortunately for him, I still have Dragon Lord's Prerogative and two Havens. I assume he's going to name Dissolve. Well, it makes the most sense. I was thinking it was a Court of Calling. I was like, what in the world convokes out of an Abzan deck? Alright, alright. Good beats, sir. I'm mildly curious if he has another basic forest or planes in his deck. Because uh, if he does not, he cannot monstrous his creature this moment. Alright, looks like he does not. Alrighty. Um, I guess we just... I don't really want to play into end hostilities. So... We're not gonna get back Ojutai and cast it as much as I want to. It also gets wrecked by another Elspeth, so we're just gonna fetch play a, a prerogative. All right, it's not so bad. Haven, and we even have this nifty in case of ice for his other fleece main line should he choose to try to monstrous. If he does, he has a monstrous twice. I really wish Perilous Vault was just Oblivion Stone. It would make this format so weird. <laughs> oh, my opponent is all salty. Alright, well, he's dead. Uh, I will spare you the gory details of my opponent yelling at me.
All right, well, uh, Slime Buckets, uh, you are going to be on StarCityGames.com. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, what's whatever, this when this goes up. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this round. Uh, we'll be back for the next round in just a minute.